Hi, and welcome to the Electronics and Programming Beginner's Guide. Today's topic is something I haven't done before, and that's uh, uh, tricks for programming. And these are specifically tricks for, or a trick for programming embedded systems, because if you program in pretty much anything else, this isn't an issue. The trick is how to do division using float numbers, but while still remaining uh, in integer space. I know that sounded like a mouthful, and so we're going to do an example. But the idea is that how do you do a float operations in a processor that doesn't have a float core and that has very limited memory? Uh, for example, and I'll talk a little about this more about this later, uh, the PIC 12F615 only has a 2K of program memory and uh, doing any kind of float operations in the processor overflows the memory very easily. So let's start off with an example. Let's say you want to convert uh, centimeters to inches. For instance, we have 89 centimeters. and we want to convert that to inches, the conversion factor is roughly 2.4 centimeters to an inch. So this would be divided by 2.4. And the question is, how do you actually carry this operation out without having to do a, a float math? Because it's a float math is the real culprit here. The trick to doing this is um, to use a trickery of order of operations. So, uh, and maybe even order of operations isn't the, the best way of putting it, but let's give an example. So if we actually carried out this operation, uh, 89 divided by 2.4, let's grab my trusty calculator here, and that's... 37.08, so this equals 37.08, uh, roughly. The way, to do, uh, the way to do this is to use uh, a function of the processor which works really well and really fast, and that is a bit shift. A bit shift is, uh, in essence, a divide by two, and you can carry bit shift out very very fast so here's how it works uh, first you take the number 2.4 and you multiply it by a number that is a nice um, uh, divisible by two number or uh, so th the example here would be like 256 so 256 256 is the two to the eighth power. So you could easily uh, divide 256 out by using eight bit shifts in a row, because this would be divide by two, divide by two, divide by two. So now you take 256 and you multiply it by, and you multiply it by the reciprocal of the number that you're trying to divide by. So it'd be 256 times 1 divided by 2.4. So what we're doing is we're hiding the division operation inside the 256. So now that we uh, have that figured out, let's see, let's see here. This equals 106. Uh, 0.66. 0.66. Whenever you carry out this operation, uh, because uh, this will be pre-programmed in, you would do this ahead of time. So you wouldn't actually do this in a program memory, you would hard code this. So you would do this uh, beforehand. And the answer you get 106 here, uh, you can round in either way that you feel is uh, necessary. So you would take the 106 and since it's 0.66 I would actually round this to 107. Like that. 
So now you have 107. What do you do with that 107? So we come back to the 89. In the 89, we take 89 times 107, which is actually a composite of these two numbers. And now, uh, after you do the multiplication, you uh, divided by the 256 to carry it out. But in the processor, you would actually just do eight bit shifts to the right to divide out the number. So then this equals divided by 256, just like that. So what does that actually come out to? So you, uh, 89 times 107 equals, and then which is uh, 9,523, and then divided by 256. So this comes out to 37.19. And again, whenever you're doing uh, integer type math, the decimal place will just get lost. It, it doesn't round anywhere, it just gets omitted. So your final answer is gonna be 37, which the answer we were looking for was 37.08. Assume, you know, if you neglect for the rounding error, that's a pretty damn good answer. Earlier in the video, I mentioned the PIC 12F615. Uh, using this processor, I was uh, trying to dim an LED up and down, uh, one second up, one second down and uh, the LED was being dimmed by a PWM. And this is where I found the trick uh, the most useful. Uh, to show you more visually, what you had was this is one second, this is two seconds. So right here would be the brightest level of the LED and the LED in a linear fashion would first go from off to on, and then from on back to off, uh, like that. The problem I ran into is that said I wanted one second for the LED to come up and then another second for the LED to come down. Uh, I wanted to do it in 100 steps, so every 10 milliseconds you would increment to the next level so this actually kind of looks like a, a staircase and not uh, necessarily a smooth line but the issue ended up being that uh, when i was pwm in the led at the full brightness that i wanted i only had 40 counts to work with uh, meaning that uh, I only had uh, 40 different brightness levels from here to here, but I wanted to do it in 100 different steps. The way I conquered this problem was with the trick that I showed previously. I uh, wrapped the uh, division by 100 into the multiplication and then used bit shifts to uh, bring out the uh, final answer. So let's take a quick peek as to how I did that. I don't want to get into the nitty-gritty of how the function actually worked. I really want to talk about the algorithm that the uh, function uses. Uh, the function that dimmed the LED up and down uh, was called once every 10 milliseconds and inside the function there was a counter that counter kept track of uh, how many times the function was called. So uh, that uh, counter would increment from zero to 100 and then back to zero. And the cycle would repeat over and over again. And all of that was taken care of with flags and the function, the incrementing and decrementing, etc. cetera. Uh, that part's not important. What's important is how the algorithm actually worked. So uh, for the algorithm, 
uh, I generated a number uh, which I called uh, the step size. The step size uh, was a number that included all of the pieces that we had talked about. So uh, the, the, the total uh, width we have was 40 because 40 was the maximum count for the brightness of the LED, so it would be 40. Uh, that 40 needed to be divided by 100, so then this was divided by 100. And then we need to sprinkle in that uh, little bit of extra, you know, uh, magic dust, and then this was times 256. Uh, this uh, multiplier number uh, can be really any size. Everything depends on the kind of resolution that you want. The larger this number is, the more precise your answer will be. The problem that you have to uh, weigh is how big do you want this number because, you know, if you uh, push your calculations into, like, unsigned longs, uh, you might run into problems. So, uh, a yet another trick that I did in this algorithm is... Uh, it really depends on the compiler and that's I wanted to make sure that this 40 divided by 100 didn't get lost in the weeds so what I did was is I stole a tens place out of the 256 and uh, added it to the 40 so what that looks like is I took a decimal place off of the 256 so that leaves us with 25 and then they added a times 100 at the top here. Uh, this marker is, there we go, give me a little bit of a fit. So in reality what this did is it did 40 times 10 which makes this 400 divided by 100 gives us 4 and then times 25 this whole thing equals 100. So now that I have the uh, constant I can write the algorithm. So uh, the let's say the variable that gets incremented and decremented is x, and uh, the brightness of the LED is b. So what this uh, function looks like would be uh, b equals uh, x. Need to open a, our current uh, uh, our current step in the uh, dimming uh, times 100 which is our step size and then the whole thing is bit shifted eight times which divides out this 256 that we've hidden inside so what this ends up doing is uh, if you Remember what we uh, looked at previously is we had a time graph and we had a line that was going up. Normally, if you have, you know, if instead of 40, this was like 5,000, you could really easily divide it into 100 even steps. So you would get a r nice little uh, step ladder going up the, uh, the line. Uh, because we're kind of doing it half-assed, uh, I really don't have a better word for it, what you end up seeing is you still have that line, but now depending on rounding, because you always drop the decimal places, so b always ends up being uh, an integer value, uh, these steps become uneven, so you would have little steps, and you would have big steps, and little steps, and big steps, but the overall effect is that you get a somewhat linear response out of the LED. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you're welcome to email me or uh, comment in the comment section down below. And uh, if you have uh, any ideas for any other videos, you're always welcome to uh, leave me a comment.